Hello, everyone. How are we doing? Yes, I think that's correct. Oopsie. I will mute that there. Um, hi. Um, I'm happy to be here with you today. It's been uh, kind of a busy day. Busy, hectic, kind of weird day. But we're here. Oh, hello, Mom. Thanks for being here. Um, <laughs> that's funny. That's just part of your name, but it sounds like my mom is watching. My mom very, very likely has no idea what Twitch is. Um, but we're here. We're here playing Pokemon Platinum. Very excited about it. Um, we have just defeated the Snow Point City Gym. And we have our squad here, of course, of Autumn, the Torterra. We have Hot To Go, the, uh, not Krogunk, Toxicroak. Breakfast, the Togekiss. We have Karen, the uh, Houndoom. We have Static, the newly evolved Magnezone. And we have Pikachu, the Vaporeon. Love to see it. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I appreciate it a lot. I really do. Um, so, now that we were able to help uh, to defeat, rather, Candace at the Ice Gym, we are able to help our friend... Oh, hi, Brody! We are able to help our friend GCG um, at Lake Acuity. But, first things first, we need to grab a Pokemon that is going to know Rock Climb for us. I'm pretty sure... No, the Barrel can learn it. Gilbert the Barrel is an HM MVP. HM MVP. Um, we'll put Static in the box just for now. Static will be back with us, no worries. All right. Um, but we need to teach our friend Gilbert Rock Climb, which we found out in the snow, if you recall. Rock Climb, um, it does 90 power. We have a couple Pokemon that can learn it. I could maybe teach it to Torterra if we want to have it for convenience. I have done that before in past playthroughs and everything had been fine. Um, but I would like to keep Leech Seed if I could. Um, here, let's teach it to Gilbert for now. Um, <laughs> yeah, you just saw a rollout in there and it reminded you of the, uh, of the carnage that ensued. All right, so now that we have Rock Climb, Oh, that sound. That snow sound is really nice. Whoever made that sound effect freaking killed it. Um, and now we are trudging our way through. Ah, yes, we can go up the side here. Ah, we have not seen rock climb work yet. We can pick up this hidden item here says if we'd like to use Rock Climb, we say yes, of course. And we hop right up the wall. It's really cool. Um, and this is the Reaper Cloth. This is actually going to help Dusclops evolve into its newfound evolution. Um, of course, we're not really going to be using that. <laughs> Badge Polishing, Brody, you got it. You got it. Asking you shall receive. We're going to polish up our badges. We're going to get all shiny. Um, sorry if my screen is uh, going back and forth. I should really start each platinum stream with this at this point. Um, just get all of our badges shiny. I mean, they can, they can be a little more shiny if we really wanted, because right now we have... We're just going to two sparkles. Uh, because you can get four sparkles, but I really don't feel like it right now. Um, let's see. All right. Come on now. There it is. Our badges are polished. Are you happy? I hope so. All right. Um, so now... We are going to hop in here to Lake Acuity, and we're going to see what's up. We got a little cutscene here. GCG, oh, you're not getting away with this, Team Galactic. 
Oh, are you finished already? Your Pokemon are bad, but you're laughably weak. You honestly thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake and become the Pokemon champion? Dream on, little kid. But ew, it's so cold here. Let's go back to the Veilstone HQ. And Jupiter smugly walks over here. She says, we met in Eterna City. Listen, Team Galactic is going to do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whining about poor Pokemon and other trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time coming to our HQ in Veilstone. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh no. Our guy, he's, he's feeling a little distraught. He said he couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. Jupiter really, uh, really, really kicked his butt and uh, she stole Uxi from the lake. It was suffering, says GCG. Um, I'm gonna get tougher. It's not about winning or losing. That's not good enough. I have to be stronger. Ooh, I love that kind of like RPG, anime, kind of vague notion of being stronger <laughs> that all the protagonists want. I mean, I kind of get it, but it's it's just so much of a trope, it's funny. Anyway, it's not enough to just want to be the most powerful trainer ever. It takes honest effort and a determined heart. That's right. All right, GCG, you get it. All right, Brody, what'd you say here? Um, <laughs> hey, Brody, you keep me honest. You keep me honest, that's true. Um, so I will use this Super Repel over here because it's funny to see Pikachu use Surf. So if we pop over here, this is the little island where, ooh, this music. Anyway, um, the music here is incredible. Um, <laughs> and this is where Uxie was and will be later. Um, but we're not really stopping in there right now. Actually, at every lake, um, if you surf around the outskirts here, you can pop into some of these patches of grass. Um, let me, ah, uh, yes, not quite leveled up enough. So, um, every lake, has these patches of grass here and I keep getting interrupted by the wild Pokemon okay so every lake has these patches of grass kind of like along the outskirts and at each one you have a big time TM I think they are for blizzard thunder and fire blast so Lake Acuity has blizzard and then Lake Valor and Lake um, uh, ba -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. oh my gosh like very, <laughs> sorry. So Lake Acuity has Blizzard, and then Lake Val uh, Valor and Lake Verity, they each have Thunder and Fire Blast, um, kind of sitting around the outskirts of the lake. It's a nice little secret spot. Um, all right. So now there's kind of a lot of things we can do. Um, Jupiter was mentioning the Galactic Hideout. Um, but one thing that I want to do first, actually, um, is we... Let's pop down to Celestic Town. Um, oh, I can't go that way. I'm gonna waste my repel. Oh, right when I step into the grass. Um, so we are actually going to go back to the snowy route for just a little bit. Um, and we're gonna keep Gilbert in our party. We're gonna kind of risk not having an electric move for now. Um, oh, yeah, you're right, Brody. All right. So we're gonna pop back here, back through the defog room. Nothing too crazy, just go all the way up. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, we are back in the route where we first have snow. Uh, it probably would have been just about equidistant to go the other way. Um, but as you can see, there's a little rock climb spot here, and we are going to uh, climb up here. Um, because there are a lot of nice kind of like hidden items 
um, throughout the game that you can achieve uh, with Rock Climb. Um, we're gonna start with Autumn. Um, that you can get to with Rock Climb, but arguably the most important one is up here um, on the side of this cliff. Um, let's just Earthquake, let's not even mess around. There we go. And then I think, oh yeah, Mega Drain will do it from here. There we go, get some of that HP back. Perfection, ooh, we wanna learn to move Synthesis. I don't like Synthesis that much. I would rather have Leech Seed than Synthesis because other Pokemon on our squad can like uh, benefit from it. Um, let's see. <laughs> yes. Um, all right. So there's some other stuff going on here. I'm sure there's an item or two that's hidden. Um, we'll start with Hot to Go. Because these people will have some ice types, I'm sure. There we go. Perfection. Oh, protect. How annoying. There you go. Can't hit the double protect snow run. Too bad, so sad. Um, Swinub is fine, even though we're going to get hit here. That's still going to be a one shot every time. And then finally we have Snover. For this one, we'll go ahead to Karen, because Karen is just a Snover, a Snover slaying machine. There you have it. Um, okay. So we'll let this skier. Oh wow, she is skiing a long way. She's like a cross-country skier, it looks like. The fun things about winter. One skiing, two Pokemon. How wholesome. Uh, we can knock out this swine of as well with a well-placed revenge. I would like to get a better fighting move for Hot to Go at this point, but, you know, we're dealing with what we've got. Perfect, Karen. Um, let's see, Leech Seed, Razor Leaf, Earthquake, Crunch. I mean, that's not bad at all, Brody. I would not, uh, I would not hate that. Um, because I like having Mega Drain as, like, a damaging special move, but, like I was just saying, Leech Seed can kind of, like, benefit the entire team. So, you know, yin yang. Um, let's see. Are there any other battles before I pick up that item? Oh, there are a couple items. Oh, quite a few. Oh, hello. I guess I'm doing this first. <laughs> um, all right. Another Snover. So hot to go isn't perfect here, but that's okay. I think this is still super effective. Oh, yeah. We're good. Good to go. Hot to go, even. Okay. So... The reason that you really want to come up this cliff when you finally get Rock Climb, as you can see, there are like tons of items uh, strewn about here. And if I'm not mistaken, this one's going to be the real prize. Yes, it is. This is the TM for Ice Beam. You really want to go out of your way on this route to get that TM because Ice Beam is one of the best moves in this game and every Pokemon game, honestly. Max Potion doesn't hurt either. Um, okay. Um. Yeah, you're right, Brody. You're right. Um, alright. And then a mental herb. I actually don't remember what a mental herb does. What does a mental herb do? Oh. Do I have one already? Oh, or is it over here? Ah, yes. Uh, an item be held by a Pokemon. It snaps the holder out of infatuation. Oh, that's interesting. It can only be used once. Um, but I have an HP up. Who wants an HP up? I mean, Karen has the least amount of HP. Yeah, we'll give it to Karen. There we go. All right, so that was a really nice um, detour. We may or may not use Ice Beam. Blizzard might be good enough for our friend Pikachu, just because it can do more damage. Um, but we'll see. It'll be nice to have it in our back pocket in case um, Blizzard isn't something we want to use. Um, all right, so here. Yes, we're going to pop over to Veilstone City. Just like they were saying. Jupiter was saying, rather. So we can finally, um, hopefully, dispatch of Team Galactic once and for all. But there is a rock climb, rock 
Where is it here in Palestone? Is it up here? Oh, it's over there. Basically went right by it. I don't remember what this item is, but it always bugs me whenever I see it when we first get here. Oh, it's a full incense. How about that? Might not even want that, honestly, but... Thank you, Babarel, for your service. Um, so we are actually going to box Babarel right now. While I'm thinking about it. Oops. Just looked at the map. Alright. So let's get Static back in the, in the fray. Alright. I like the Pokemon that we have um, in the PC. I feel like we caught some fun fun ones. Chingling, Ghastly, Ponyta. Rotom, of course, was a whole thing. Okay, so I'm actually gonna save. Um, let's see. <laughs> Ziggy did get Belly Drum, that's true. Let's see. Oh, we're saving a lot of data. Wow, already at 24 hours in game time. I mean, I do use speed up quite a bit, but dang, man. All right, so we're gonna talk to this grunt here. There, would you look at those antenna? I don't know what they do, but those are some mighty impressive antenna. So we talked to this galactic grunt, but uh, he says, I sure remember you. You took out my Clefairy. My partner called it quits and went back to his old country. Oh, I know nothing. I don't know anything about any storage key. Ooh. So uh, he just gave us a nice little hint. Um, and Looker is just like, well, I have the storage key anyway. So, um, oh yes, we have our reasons. We have our reasons. So you talk to that Team Galactic grunt and Looker has the storage key. So then you go all the way back here to the Team Galactic warehouse where you had a double battle earlier and that is where Looker is going to come in and be like, oh, this is where we use that storage key. How about that? And then Kerchunk, it opens. And now we can kind of infiltrate the Team Galactic base through, you know, the back way, the secret entrance. It's really cool. Love it. Um, well, because they're stupid, Brody. That really is true. Here's a Dusk Stone. Um, we found the Shiny Stone earlier to evolve our Togetic into a Togekiss. The Dusk Stone will evolve a couple other Pokemon, specifically in my brain, I think of the Dusk Stone as what evolves Murkrow into its new evolution for Generation 4. Um, so you get that Dusk Stone here in Veilstone. I don't know why I just left. Um, because we are going right into the belly of the beast, and we have a team just about level 40s. Um, <laughs> let's see. All right. Oh yeah, some good music here. Hmm. Man, they are slapping the bass here. So great. Um, we have a scientist. I forget what he says. Team Galactic will set free all Pokemon, all of nature. Wahaha! <laughs> Team Galactic will own them all. Oh my goodness. So, we were able to use the storage key to get into this area, but there is another key that we are looking for called the Galactic Key. And uh, we're gonna be looking into that very soon. But we have um, a lot of Team Galactic grunts to work our way through, um, because we are, we're storming the castle, baby. Uh, we are ready to kick some butt. And Static, ooh, Static is a great swap into Golbat, because those poison moves won't affect us at all. Was hoping Spark would one-shot there. Luckily for us, Static is about to learn the move Discharge. Not quite just now, but when it hits level 40, um, it's going to learn the move Discharge, and that's going to be a more powerful move for us. Um, we're going to open Vaporeon. And a lot of these Galactic Grunts aren't going to be the most threatening thing in the entire world. That's okay. Um, let's use this zinc. Who needs more special defense, Do I think? Um, let's give it to breakfast. Perfect. Breakfast a little bulkier. Um, alright, brother. 
Let's see what you got. With that creepy chair and a kid like you around, the HQ's not the same anymore. Like you characters change the, well, character of the place. <laughs> oh, classic. Perfect lead here. Surf will wash that away nice and quick. Um, but how was everybody's day? My day was pretty solid. Um, actually, my day was kind of tough. I was saying how it was kind of a crazy day, but I had, uh, you know, I had a, one of our kids was having a really rough time, um, which made me sad. Um, but here is that discharge I was talking about. Um, so we're going to get rid of Spark because that uses our regular physical attack and it is not as powerful as Discharge. The only drawback of Discharge is that in a double battle, it will hit our um, other Pokemon that's on the field as well. Um, but for single battles, it is A-OK, -okay, especially for a high special attack Pokemon like Magnezone. And this person says, oh yes. And then the, the music gets a little more normal. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, Brody. Brody, I appreciate you asking about Heart Gold or Soul Silver. When we play Heart Gold or Soul Silver, Mareep, we're using Mareep. I'm telling y'all right now, when we play the Generation 2 remakes, we are using Mareep because. Mareep famously is not in Crystal, which is really stupid, even though I love Crystal. It's famously not in it. So, Brody, I got you covered. Don't you worry. Um, I'm pretty sure... What does this do? I forget what Captivate does. Oh, Special Attack Harshly Fell. Well, that's not good, because that is the stat we use. Still a two-shot, though. Glammeow at level 41 is pretty weak at this point in the game. Um, I'm going to use breakfast first. So these warp panels go to some different spots. I'm going to go to a couple different places to make sure I get every item and fight every trainer in here. Usually when we do kind of like the evil team stuff, I like to fight every trainer. That's just me. Um, yeah, no, I, I totally get it. And like, I still love Pokemon Silver as well for that reason. Um... All right, so let's pop up here. Ooh, yes. Um, okay, so I know we have to go this way. I don't remember which way we have to go, actually. So we're gonna fight this guy. I'm like this close to getting my promotion to commander. Oh, well, you're missing your cool haircut. You're gonna have to dye your hair. Um, oh, that's annoying, but that's okay still. Yeah, breakfast move set will definitely get a bit of a um, overhaul, use ancient power here, use our special attack, um, vastly superior special attack on breakfast. Oh, we don't want to use a water move against a crow a gunk. Um, ah, autumn's earthquake, that'll do the trick. We get hit by a weak sucker punch, but that is okay. Crow a gunk's gonna be gone. Perfection. I wish this never happened. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry that we ruined your promotion. Okay. So I don't remember which way we need to go, but uh, we're going to wing it. And I'm going to make sure we go all the ways we need to. <laughs> now, if I was a comedy relief sort of bad guy, I would tell you, but I really don't know. Brody, you were just talking about that. Um, I think this is the way we need to go, but we'll, we'll figure it all out. We will figure it all out. Luckily, there's not a lot of different options of areas for us to go. Um, getting Catching a Toxic is a little bit annoying. But we have those full heals, baby. We good. We got 21 of those. So breakfast is all rocking and rolling. Let's see. Ooh, there's something smelly about you, he says. Um... <laughs> you know, uh, you know, I try, I try to be empathetic, Brody, even to, even to terrorists, I guess. Um, wow, that was a satisfying noise on that ancient power. I gotta make sure I don't use all of them. 
Um, for Stunky, this is another great moment for an autumn earthquake. Perfection. Um, oh yeah, so I, I hadn't noticed, I hadn't mentioned this, I kind of forgot about it thankfully for a moment, um, but the American election was on Tuesday, and I was extraordinarily disappointed with the results, as were many people. Um, I guess some people weren't, but that uh, confuses and confounds me. Um, but I just wanted to mention that because it made me sad. Anyway. Ah, uh, yes. When we go this way, we kind of go backwards, kind of like back the way we came. And this is where we're going to be able to find that special key that everyone's talking about. Um... Ooh, an X defend on his Curlia. Still didn't save it though. Yeah, both of these Pokemon have very bad defense. Um, and Torterra is just gonna be able to cut right through them. Like a hot knife. I mean, breakfast is doing great, Brody. Um, ooh, here's the dubious disc. Um, the dubious disc is so cool to me um, because this is a an item that helps Porygon evolve even further. Um, because when you give it the upgrade, it evolves into Porygon 2, but when you give it the dubious disk, a transparent device overflowing with dubious data, its producer is unknown. It becomes a new evolution that they introduced in Generation 4 that is also really cool. The whole Porygon line rocks, in my opinion. All right. So. This guy is as, ooh, okay, to get into Master Cyrus's speech, ooh, where was it now? At the Galactic Veilstone building, that much I'm sure about. Go in through the door beside the reception counter, I think it was. Ah, what did I do with the key anyway? Where is it gone? Wow, this guy is real stupid because the Galactic Key is right there. And we need it to progress through the Galactic section here. As you can see, when you use the Galactic Key on these doors, they will open, and it's great. Oh, and here's the TM for Sludge Bomb. That's going to be great. Ah, hello, Odachi. How's it going? Um, <laughs> oh, yes, who's going to trade with you? Oh, that's so funny. Um, oh, yeah, because you got to trade Porygon to evolve it, which I think is dumb. Um, I've never really enjoyed, um, whatchamacallit, trade evolutions. I am going to go back up this way because we kind of got to a dead end with a... Uh, door right here and I don't remember what's in here I'm sure this is a pretty cool item let's see ah the TM for frustration it's actually not a very cool item um, frustration is essentially the opposite of return it does more damage um, the the less your Pokemon likes you it does more damage um, so whereas return, if your po the more your Pokemon likes you, it does more damage, and so on. Um, it's it could be good for a Pokemon that like you know just just um, you just caught and doesn't like you yet, um, but you know it is what it is. All right, so we're making our way back. Um, I didn't have to go this whole long way around. But uh, I wanted to make I wanted to see what that item was. Unfortunately for us, it was just the TM for frustration. We're not going to be using that because all of our Pokemon love us. You know. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think Hot to Go has grown enough levels so that he loves us again. Um, hopefully, uh, we know our friend breakfast loves us and as you always love to say breakfast is the goat all right so let's save here okay so we're gonna pop in here ah this is actually not the right door Mabby, we will come out this door in just a little bit so here's the galactic veilstone building it does not look um you know devious whatsoever. I'm pretty sure this is Looker in Disguise. Oh, nope, this is just a guy. Um, when is Looker in Disguise? Breakfast never disappoints. It's true. I mean, you can't go wrong with French toast. Or waffles or pancakes. 
here's a debate. Anybody watching this now or watching this later in the comments. What is your favorite breakfast item? Waffles, pancakes, or French toast? I feel like this is a big debate, but I guess my semi-hot take is they're all great. They're all the best. I think waffles are technically my preference, but I mean, it's just by a little bit. They're all incredible. I love all three of those things. Um, all right, so we're, <laughs> we're back here in Team Galactic Headquarters. Back to business. Um, sausages. I mean, sausages are also good. Oh, I wanted to do a double battle. Oh, well. One at a time it is. Um, oh, yes, Brody. You are from across the pond. What is your, what is your bacon like? Because I remember in my time in London, um, I was kind of disappointed by the bacon because it was more like ham. Um, but you're not in London. I forget. You're in Scotland, right, Brody? If I'm not mistaken. Um, let's see. Uh, go back. We'll keep battling. We'll keep battling. Oh, yeah. We can eat that all day long. Perfect. Uh, we do want to train up Vaporeon at some point here. Is Torterra at level 40 yet? Yes. Pikachu it is. Alright, so I kind of messed up this double battle, so we're just instantly doing a single battle here with each trainer. Oh, and Houndour. Easy peasy. Um, ah, okay, so you hate bacon if it's the strips. It has so much fat. Ah! Okay, so you, yeah, so you have the, you have the slab ones that taste like ham. I get you. I mean, I, I don't, I didn't dislike them. Um, you know, just growing up in America, I tend to enjoy regular bacon. Not regular bacon. Regular bacon to me. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, what does this say? I forget. There is a report titled The Pokemon Statues of Eterna. Oh, yes, this is very cool. This is what the plates on the Eterna City Pokemon statue, um, this is what they say. Because when you actually read it in Eterna City, some of the letters are like wiped off, like worn off. But here it kind of fills in those gaps. It says, the creation of Dialga, the giver of time. In laughter, there is tears, and likewise it is with time. The same time flows on, for it is the blessing of Dialga. The blue text has been extracted using a high-tech device made by the boss. Would you like to keep reading? Absolutely. Pokemon statue plate text number two. The birth of Palkia, the creator of parallel dimensions. Alive yet not alive. Everything drifts in space. To arrive in the same universe, it is the blessing of Palkia. Ooh, that is so cool. Love that. Love some kind of uh, out of the way lore dumps. It's really cool. Um, ah, yes, JJ, you are so correct. Um, where am I going here? And this leads me, yes, this just leads me to an item, which is fine. We'll pick up that Max Revive. <laughs> I mean, Serebii does have all this information, but uh, they had to get it from somewhere. And it is really cool to find the information just kind of sitting around. Um, I'm going to explore every warp panel to make sure I can get every item and such. Get a green shard. Oh, I... <laughs> The bacon talk will pull just about anybody in. Anybody who eats meat, anyway. Um, let's see. So we fought those folks already. Does this guy fight us? Oh, he does. This guy's just watching TV. And I interrupted him. My bad, dude. But you seem evil. Scientist Darius. Porygon 2. Um, Porygon 2 might... Ooh, it just traced Water Absorb. I'm really glad I noticed that. So I'm actually going to swap into Hot to Go here. Um, and we're going to use Revenge. Hopefully we don't get... An... Oh my gosh, that did so much damage. That is insane. Okay. We're good. We're cool. Everybody's cool. <laughs> um, okay. Let's keep rolling. Oh, this is a cool part. So we kind of sneak into the side here. And Looker is just like, here, check this out. 
all of Team Galactic is gathering because our dude Cyrus is giving a very, like, Hitler-like speech to his followers. Fellow members of Team Galactic, hear me. My name, as I appear to you today, is Cyrus. This world of ours is a crude one. In a word, is it incomplete. It has been, and always will be, a struggle to survive in this world. We humans and Pokémon are likewise incomplete. Because we are also like lacking, we fight, we maim. It is ugly. I hate the incompleteness. That we are all incomplete. I hate it with my body, entire body and being. The world should be complete. The world must change. Then who will change it? Me, Cyrus, and Team Galactic. Yes, all of you. Together we poured over myths and exposed their secrets. Together we captured legendary Pokemon. And now, Team Galactic has obtained the energy to change the world. The power of dreams is within our grasp. Ooh, understand it, fellow members. My long-held dream world is on the verge of becoming reality. All those headed to Mount Coronet and those who remain here. Though our missions may differ, our heart, our heart speed is one. Let there be glory for Team Galactic. And all the grunts are just like Cyrus is dope. Cyrus is a genocidal maniac. You could say that. And here, look us, uh, Looker drops us, uh, drops some big knowledge on us, saying that Cyrus is only 27. That's insane. I'm 32. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Cyrus. Cyrus is he's doing some he's doing some crazy stuff, and we're gonna have to see exactly what he's up to. Um. Oh, I know. I know. Um. I try to be a little bit family friendly, but you know, sometimes you gotta you gotta talk about Hitler. You just gotta call a spade a spade. Speaking of the election. Um Alright. Let's see. And here we have a nice bed to kinda aid us in our quest. Oh, there's a Poke doll in here. I always forget about that. Um and here we can get all healed up for the battles ahead. All right. So now we're going to kind of work our way to the top of the Team Galactic building here. We're kind of in the last stretch of this portion. Um, I'm going to, yes, Autumn with Breakfast will be great because we can use Earthquake without fear of killing our Togekiss. Um, <laughs> The thousand sub surprises we get to swear. That is not entirely true. And I mean, Brody, I could swear. I'm not like... It's not like a huge thing for me to not swear, you know? Um, but I just prefer not to. I don't know why. Um, just, just in case. Um, but, you know, when the time comes... Maybe there will be a time where I need to say a swear word, but that day is not today. Um, and then finally we have Glamia. That earthquake was killing it. Oh, that's annoying. That'll still take care of it all the same. Oh, but Brody, the 1,000 sub surprise. Ugh, I'm so excited about it. I still need to finish it. It's not quite done yet. Um, ah. Here we have three warp panels. Um, one is gonna be the thing that leads us to our destiny. That might actually be the one. Um, but I wanna try to go to these other ones because I think they're going to get us to some items that we will want. Yes, here's one. A max elixir, always useful. Um, <laughs> poo poo. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't wait for the thousand sub surprise. Um, uh, yes, there's an item hidden back here. And this is a protein. Perfect. All right. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to pop back to the bed. Because I don't know. We might be here at the end game. There we go. Whoopsie. All right. So we know the warp panel that we're going for is going to be here in the bottom left. Hello. And we'll pop up here. Ooh. So once you get to this mysterious room, we can see Cyrus kind of uh, being dubious back there in the dark. So this is where we're going to save, because this is where we have a showdown with the Team Galactic Commander. 
the Team Galactic leader, rather. Um, but what should we start with? I don't remember. Um, I don't remember if he starts with Sneasel or not, so we're gonna start with Hot to Go. All right. Here he is, kids. So you've come. You heard my speech, I take it. Snigger. A big lie, of course. What? It's true insofar as my intention as to create a new world, but that world isn't for the likes of Team Galactic. I seek an entirely new world solely for myself. Cyrus. Gas. I mean, you really can't get much more selfish than that. If not, it could never be the complete and perfect world. Oh, wow, so you're saying you're perfect, man? I guess so. Cyrus is a very, uh, very deluded character. He is a really cool character. I actually really like Cyrus. Um, you yourself must know that they are uniformly useless and incomplete. I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. It's about Uxie, Mesprit, and Azelf, correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them, and I am finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I couldn't care less. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. But, I must say, you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokémon you uh, have nothing to do with you, do they? But still, you came to rescue them out of pity. Such pitifully useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and faulty human heart, Cyrus. Oh, you're a cold, cold man. You were compelled to come here by such a vacuous sentimentality. Wow. I will make you regret paying heed to your heart. Oof. And here's his music again. Oh. He does indeed start with Sneasel. So that's great. Hot to go is going to one shot the crap out of this. Um But yeah, Cyrus is crazy. He thinks he is perfect and the only person in the entire universe who knows what's up. So we don't know how he's gonna do it, but he is going to use the Pokemon of the Lakes to recreate the world in some way, which is a really crazy idea and one I don't recommend or sign off on. Um, but we should be able to make pretty quick work of his team. He's got a Sneasel, he's got a Crobat, and I'm pretty sure we're going to see the first appearance of the new evolution of Murkrow, if I'm not mistaken. And as you can tell, he's only got three Pokemon. We were able to one-shot two of them. We will probably one-shot all of them. This is not going to be our final showdown. But here, we have Honchkrow. I'm actually going to go into Pikachu and just use Blizzard against it. So, here is Honchkrow, the evolved form of Murkrow. I liked that they gave Murkrow an evolution because it felt a little bit too weak when it was introduced. However, I really prefer the design philosophy of Murkrow. It's kind of like witchy and mysterious, but then they give Mur Murkrow like a, or Honchkrow like a fedora, kind of like, kind of like it's like a mob boss or something. I kind of prefer the old vibe of Murkrow. Even though Honchkrow is still cool, I like Honchkrow, it's fine. Um, and that's just me being a uh, blatant Gen 2 sycophant, if you will. Um, oh, Brody, just because I was wanting to switch it up, that's essentially it. I wanted to give uh, Pikachu a little, uh, little experience. And with that Never Melt Ice, we were able to one-shot. So... Interesting and quite curious, says Cyrus. So he's still he's still kind of feeling us out. I see you are indeed strong, and the basis of your power is your compassion toward Pokemon. How wasteful. Such emotions are but mere illusions, and like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them forever. Cyrus is pretty metal, actually. That is why I've abandoned all emotions as useless sentimentality. But that doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. That said, I recommend, I recognize that you are strong and courageous to come alone. This is your reward. Cyrus gives you a master ball in this game. And anybody who, you know, plays through this game will never miss this because they will always have to defeat Cyrus in the story. But it's crazy that the bad guy just gives you a master ball. He's like, 
I am so perfect and complete as a being, you can literally just have a Master Ball. I don't even need it. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, actually. Um, unlike you trainers, I do not make Pokemon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Instead, I make the power of Pokemon my own. Guys, Cyrus, he's crazy, but he has some bars in this game. He has some lines. It's really cool. Um, oh, why does my Pikachu not have an electric type move? I don't know, man. Um, okay, so it says, if you wish to save the Pokemon from the lakes, take the warp panel ahead. I am off to Mount Coronet. I will ascend the mountain to its peak where my destiny awaits me. It is there that I will create my new world. Well, it sounds like we're going to have to go to Mount Coronet. But one of the things that I really like about the uh, after you defeat Cyrus is that you can take this little warp panel and go to his little Hitler podium here. <laughs> just as a nice little thing that you can do. It doesn't mean anything. It's just cute and stupid. Um, so, okay. We can't go through there to get to the end of the dungeon. We have to go here to the top right. Ooh. The music goes away. We're in this mysterious part. The underground laboratory. We're just going to heal Pikachu with a hyper real quick. Beautiful full restore. What's your deal, dude? Oh, I feel awful about what we did. This experiment went too far. Ooh, I'm not sure if I can stomach Master Cyrus's plans. Ooh, creepy down here. Ugh, I feel too sickened to say anything, but that thing we made, what is it going to be used for? Oh, no. This is very scary sounding. Um, we're going to open with static. I am going to save here really quick. All right. So let's go in here. Oh, there's Uxie. There's Mesprit. And this is Azelf. These are the three Pokemon of the lake. So it looks like we have to dispatch of Saturn once again to make sure that we can release the Pokemon of the lake. Oof. Consider it payback for your insulting me at the lake. Here we go. All right. So Saturn should be fine. We just defeated Cyrus, so I'm not too concerned here. Static is pretty much the perfect Golbat repellent, so we can take that out. Easy peasy. And then we finally have Toxicroak here. I'd love to have a, um, what you call it, Psychic move, which would be quad effective against his Toxicroak. But we're just gonna roll with Fly. I guess I should keep the music on, it's a Mazer Battle. Hmm. That was one of the reasons I didn't want to use Torterra because of that Poison Jab. Ah yes, two Flies. Ah, nope, he's got the, he's got the Berry. Ah, the Poisoning. Um, well, we'll just go into uh, Static. Oh, it read me like a book. That's fine. That's okay. Now we get that free switch into autumn. Oh my goodness. This Toxicroak's got, got uh, coverage, man. Um, I talked about x Scissor a little bit. Um, it is a new powerful bug type move here in Gen 4. Um, and you know, Toxicroak's not bug type, but that's, that's good coverage for it. It's kind of just like an X slash attack. Um, and they really needed to give Bug a powerful move, so that's pretty good for it. Uh, and here's Bronzor, perfect for a Karen. Always talking about Bronzor being a menace in the original Diamond and Pearl. All right, let's hop in here to Fire Blast. Oops, not quite. Um, Gyro Ball is a steel type move. It does more damage based on how slow you are. So if you're a slow Pokemon, it does more damage. Um, Bronzor and its evolution isn't, uh, they aren't very fast. Um, so that could, in theory, be a pretty good move for them. But not in this case. We resist and then destroy it with Fire Blast. 
and Commander Saturn is no more. Even though uh, the Toxicrow gave us some sneaky trouble. Ah, what makes you so tough? Fine, do whatever you want with those three Pokemon. Press the button on that machine to set them free. And set them free, we shall. Yes. And they just disappear. Our boss crafted a red chain from the crystals he took from the three Pokemon. That red chain is what he needed to shackle something on Mount Coronet. It's also apparently needed for creating something, but that's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there? Nothing good, that's for sure. I do really like that he needs the three Pokemon of the lake to help him create something to get maybe an even more powerful Pokemon. Hmm. Saturn and even Cyrus fall to a mere child. Team Galactic State of Affairs is worrying that plan of Cyrus is atop Mount Coronet too. Who knows if it will work? Hmm, perhaps another option needs to be considered. One befitting of the genius of Charon. Um, oh, Growlithe is a better name than Karen? Ah, oh, maybe. I like Karen, though. All right, so now that we have set the lake Pokemon free, we can pop down here to this green... Um, warp panel and it takes us back to the beginning so now we have made our way through the Veilstone HQ um, and with that it's kind of time to get to some of the main conflict of the game we are going to make our way to the top of Mount Coronet where destiny awaits us I'm very excited about that um, but let me do this first. And you might be wondering why I went to Orberg City. Orberg City is actually going to be a good entrance point for us to uh, get to the top of Mount Coronet. Because as we've seen, there's a lot of different entrances there. We can go a lot of different ways. Like we went up by Celestic Town and Eterna City to get us to Snowpoint City. Um, but to be able to access the top we'll have to go through like the Orberg city entrance pretty much. But um, that is probably where we're gonna stop tonight. I think that's a really good stopping point. I was happy to get through the galactic building. Um, and we are going to have really the awesome epic Team Galactic end game when we return next time. I'm not sure when it's going to be. It probably won't be this weekend. Um, this upcoming week is actually going to be pretty weird, so please tune into the Discord um, to see when I'm going to be going live um, next week. But guys, we are... I mean, Platinum is just flying by. I mean... We're getting to kind of like the meat of the main story. Um, and, excuse me, we will be challenging the Pokemon League before we know it. Um, I'm so excited. So, so excited. Thank you guys for being on this journey with me. As always, I love to share my joy. And I love to share my joy specifically for video games. So, appreciate you all. If you're still watching this on YouTube, subscribe, please. Um, can't wait to hit a thousand. And I will see you all next time. Peace, kids.